hello guys welcome to another video so in today's video we are going to be doing some diy projects i saw this trend um on tiktok i think like last year or something and i decided to finally jump on the trend i actually got these glass jars like quite a while ago but they've just kind of been sitting in my study waiting for me to repurpose them so let me go show you guys like the general idea of what's going on today <laughs> you're probably so confused so this is my office as you can see it's very empty i just want to bring it to life and you know have like a motivating space to work in i got these shelves from ikea i've got another one down here that i'm yet to assemble i just really love the idea of having like a bunch of pottery on here so when i saw that tiktok trend i was like you know i definitely have to go and buy some cheap vases and do that to everything <laughs> so that's what's happening today this one i'm really excited about i just love like the bigger ones and the oddly shaped ones so i think they're going to turn out really really cool <laughs> ignore all the stuff inside of here but this is the type of texture that i'm going for um obviously this is like organic pottery it's um you know the real deal so i want to go for this sort of look minus the price tag because this was really expensive i think this was about almost 300 dollars. so if i was to fill that entire shelf up with stuff that looked like this i would like break the bank so i wanted to go for the more financially smart decision and try and repurpose these guys Okay, so for this DIY, you are gonna need a few things. Well, of course, first of all, you need like a glass vessel or a vase, whatever you wanna call it. I almost dropped this bad boy, but this was from Ikea. I can't remember the price, but I think it was pretty decent. So I'm really excited to paint this one because I feel like it's gonna turn out really, really nice. This one I'm excited to do as well because this already comes with a bit of texture on it. As you can see, it's got these lines. So I think this should turn out pretty good as well. You also need some paint. So I got some paint samples from Bunnings. Um, I got them in the vivid white. And I also picked up another color called Beige Intent by Dulux. And it looks like this. You're also gonna need some baking soda. I got two of these from Woolworths because I didn't know how much baking soda I would need as I've never done this before. And just to add some more texture, I also got the multi-purpose filler. Um, this is just like that wall filler that you use to fill holes and stuff. So I saw somebody using this in one of their tutorials on here. So I figured I could add this for, you know, more texture. I'm going to say texture like a thousand times in this video, guys. Sorry. You also need some paint brushes. These are from Bunnings. I got this classic pack here with smooth brushes. But I also picked up this kind of cheap um, disposable chip painting brush. I really don't know the difference, but these just, these don't look as smooth. They, they kind of look like they would give you a rough finish. So I picked these up just to give it a shot as well. Oh, and we'll also need some drop cloths. Um, so if you are painting inside, you're not going to get any on your tiles because obviously Nobody wants that, so yeah, that is everything. Let's get to work. I shouldn't be standing with a heart that's so heavy. I shouldn't be up with all the weight that I carry. Don't know if it's right, but I'm sticking with you. You're my only vice, I'm dependent on you. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah. The more baking soda you add, obviously the texture changes a little bit. Kind of starting to look more like plaster than paint. You know? So I find that the longer I let the paint mixture sit then the better the texture is so as you can see right here this is just one coat so I feel like the more vases that I do the better the texture gets sooner it kind of expands when it dries so you don't want to put too much paint on it because that was my um, that was my issue in the beginning so now I'm just kind of like spreading it around and just like creating that texture in the vase 
rather than just like trying to get as much paint on there as possible to cover. I wanted to try the uh, plaster just for a bit of effect. I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing. I'm literally just winging it. But I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to let it dry and then paint over it. For these ones, I'm kind of going for like the cement look. So I want each one to look a little individual. Picking up more of the mixture than I am paint and I'm just like blotching through it just to give it a bit of a textured effect. I don't know if you guys could see. Okay, there we go. So this is sort of the effect I'm going for with this one. So I found that with this DIY, it was very much a go with the flow type of deal. But with this one, I used a lot of plaster on it. And I just went and filled in some of the see-through spots with the white paint. And I really liked the way that turned out. And with this one here, I tried to add some coffee to it, but my coffee was too light. It was like that golden coffee, which didn't really work. So then I just went over it with some hair dye that was like a dark brown color just to achieve that coffee look. Um, I was really worried about how it was going to look. I felt like I ruined it. But after that, I just took a sponge and went over it with some white paint and it actually turned out really, really nice. It ended up being one of my favorite pieces. So mistakes are welcome here. <laughs> um, you know, you can always go over them and fix them with some paint. So just do what feels right for you. Um, and then you can come and fix your mistakes in the end. This is how my office is looking at the moment. Um, I still need some artwork to put behind my desk. But apart from that, I think it's pretty much done. You guys know I love me a little bit of a minimal vibe. I didn't want anything too crazy or cluttered. I wouldn't say it's completely done yet. I feel like I need some neutrals on that shelf there, but I'm pretty happy with this one. I may get some baskets to put under here, but overall I think the project turned out really successful. I love the texture of it and I love the position too. It's really nice sitting on my desk. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it inspired you to create some pieces in your home. So if you do give it a go just by watching my video, I'd love to see your pieces. Please tag me on Instagram at Nikki Thought and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.